on another adventure. Dog and I are way to the upper Arkansas. We're going to do a little fishing here and then uh, head off on a nice loop trip that goes down to Buena Vista over Cottonwood Pass, down to Taylor Park Reservoir. We're, we'll fish that river and uh, then head down to Almont, fish the East River, camp out on the Almont Triangle, then go over Kebler Pass tomorrow after breakfast in Crested Butte, fish Anthracite Creek and the Crystal, and we'll be done. Should be a fun trip. She's having fun already. It's been kind of sparse so far. I finally caught my first brown. Not a big one. Kind of a 10 inch ish thing. Uh, it's going to be kind of pull them up and then I have to pull them up in the grass to release them. It's just too, too deep down there. Well, the next cast, another fish. They're, they're, boy, they're laying right along this bank. I'm going to have to pull this one up in exactly the same spot. Oh, I'm wrong handing the, the stretch of the river. We've got raptors up above us, so let's get this better fish in. This is, this is not a bad one. It's going to be about 14. So we like this one. We took the surface fly too. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. It's beautiful up here in this basin. We're up above Taylor Reservoir right now. Look at those mountains in the background. Sue's organizing her flies. I'm going to head downstream and start. Beautiful little stream up here above the lake. Dog's happy. She's in water. Sue's getting in just above me. I'll try this nice big pool here. Oh, this is a better brown than I've seen here in a long time. Well, he's come out of the water two or three feet so far. Let's see if we can get him close. Yeah, that's a really fine fish. Ooh, is he hung up on something? Nope. He's just racing around. Like, oh, here he is. Boy, is. Oh, look at him go. Boy, is that a nice fish. Yep. Not huge, but... Uh, it's a good strong 14, and he's fat as can be. He's probably the second best, biggest fish I've ever caught in this part of the stream. Well, I've got a hookup from another fairly good fish. Uh, this one took a little uh, yellow cell imitation. I'm mi probably missing uh, 10 out of 11 strikes. I just can't seem to get any hookups today. Plus, the fish are pretty small. Uh, this is about a 10 incher. Our weather's headed south. We're trying one more place up in the Taylor. So just sitting this one out. It's coming down a little bit lightly. Uh, looks nice to the north, but the direction we're headed, it's not. So we may have some issues camping tonight. Another one, <laughs> scrappy little guy, but he took the big fly. It's, this looks like a pretty good stretch up ahead. Maybe we'll do better here. The browns in this part of the stream were taking everything on the surface, either the yellow sally imitation or the uh, rubber leg. The only thing wrong with fishing up here is it's absolutely awash with uh, bubbas on ATVs. I know they have a right to this place too, but boy are they noisy and obnoxious. Anyway, we had fun here, uh, then we went down by the dam and uh, did a little fishing just above uh, the entrance to the lake. Well, I've got a nice fish on here. We're down close to the lake now. Near the campground. Boy, this is a dandy. It's going to be a rainbow. Bless you, little one. You came up out of the lake, didn't you? Yeah, that's a nice fish. Um, we consider 12 or 14 inches to be a really nice fish. Okay, good. Well, here's one that gave up in a heartbeat. I just hooked another nice big rainbow, too, but this one's very lackadaisical. Sue's really fishing a nice little hole now. It's probably the best holding water. <laughs> this part of this little stream. Let's see if she can rip something out of this one. Aha! Uh -huh. Sue's playing one. I sneaked behind the bush. There it is. Here she goes. She's closing on it. Oh, it's a nice brown. That's a beauty. Look at that fish. Yes, that's a pretty one. Boy, yeah, a good foot long. Very nice, Sue. I didn't quit. That's good. We just uh, fished this uh, Taylor River tailwater below the dam. It's where the largest rainbow in Colorado was caught. I didn't exactly hook him. Uh, it was a brown trout about 12 inches, the only one I played. But it's fascinating fishing. There's a yellow sally hatch going on, and I've got some pretty good imitations. But uh, not today. I'm like, well, this is my first East, East River fish. I've hooked up, played a few, missed several strikes, and finally caught a little. Six inch brown. I can't believe how many fish I've missed. <laughs> it's nuts. Got another little one on. This is about eight inches. And what is it? A rainbow? Oh! I think it is. Let's get this up here closer. Oh, it popped off too. 
Sue's way up ahead, and I suspect she's catching fish too. Uh, is this decadence or not? It's a lobster roll, mm -hmm. a chardonnay, an orzo salad. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this gorgeous or what? Yeah, the dog's wonderful. happy. We're both happy. <laughs> we caught fish. We caught fish, and this is decadence and beyond those decadence. My, uh, floral arrangement. See the floral arrangement with the blue moon in the background, mm -hmm. and lots of good stuff. Took the dog up on a rock just above camp so she could enjoy the view. Camped on the Olmont Triangle last night. Uh, drove to Crested Butte, had breakfast at McGill's. Very nice breakfast. Now we're on Anthracite Creek. Sue's behind us. I don't know where the dog is, but she'll be around somewhere. This is a good hole, so she should pick up a fish or two here. Sue picked up the first fish of the day. I just re-rigged. Uh, it's been a little slow so far. That's a darn, darn nice little rainbow. That's got to be a good 10, 10, 11 inches. Perfect. Good start. Finally cooked a good finish. I'd had three or four small ones on, let them play themselves off. This one's going to be about a foot long. And that's a good little rainbow. There he is. He took the fly sunk and on the, on the retrieve. Weird deal. Well, this could be the trout I caught previously. It's the best fish we've seen on the river so far. Whoa, there he goes. It's not big, but 14 inches is a uh, semi-monster on this stream. Let's get him up. Yeah, that's a beauty of a fish. Very pretty rainbow. The ragged ranges in the background. We're up just below the town of Marble on the Crystal River now. A lot of massive flooding up here, and uh, fish really weren't very active. Oh, that's something really strong on it. It's not very big. Boy, why did that thing tug? No wonder. It's foul hooked. Oh man, that drives me crazy. It's a nice little rainbow, too. Or is it? Or is it a brookie? Oh boy, who knows? Let's get it close. It's a brookie. It must have been going for the fly. Yeah, I didn't even feel this strike. It's Mr. Whitey. <laughs> I know you're in there. We would just as soon not see you, but we did. So you took a little, uh, kind of a caddis pupa. Let's get you off in a heartbeat. I'm still walking up the crystal. I've been fishing a nymph uh, all morning and uh, have very little success on it. The The bottom of the river is just awash with mud and uh, shortly I'm going to change to a dry fly and it turned out to be much more successful. Well, it's not a big one, but it's a rainbow. I've been having trouble getting hold of those. Oh, we got a 10 incher here. It's better than nothing. We finally took a surface fly and my nymphs are producing nothing. And here's another rainbow. Uh, I probably caught a dozen fish in the space of 15 minutes uh, going back to a, a dry fly.